Madison from Addison's Awesome Crafts, and I'm here today to teach you how to make rainbow loom rings. The supplies you will need are a mini, your rainbow loom mini loom, a rainbow loom hook or a crochet hook. Today I'm using a crochet hook, some rubber bands. Today I'm using yellow. You will also need a C-clip. If you want to put um, a button on, you will need dental floss and your button. Please get your supplies and get ready for step one. This is step one. You're going to get your mini loom. You're going to get one rubber band. Put it there. Put it on that sharp turn. Then stick it back onto that one peg. So it makes kind of like an X shape right there. Now you're going to get your rainbow loom hook. Put it in there. Get one rubber band. Twist it. Get it through there. And stick it back on. Get another rubber band. Put on your hook. Pull it through and stick it back on. Get another rubber band. Put it on your hook, pull it through, and stick it back on. Do this until it's as big as you. I'll keep showing you. When yours is long enough for you, so mine is, I use seven rubber bands, you're going to put your hook in there, then you're going to loop it off. So now you're going to get one rubber band, put it on your hook, pull it through all of those rubber bands, and stick it back on. So now you're going to pull this out. Put it on your fingers and attach your seat clip. If you do not have a button or dental floss, do not worry. Now I'm going to show you how to attach a button. To do this, you're going to find your middle. Now you're going to get your dental floss. Get your button, put it through there. Now, all you are going to do now is put one of the sides to the side. Get your one. Now you're going to get your ring. You're going to make sure there's two through there. You're going to put your thread through there. Ah, I'm losing my button. I'm going to put your dental floss through your ring. And you're going to get the other side. Pull it. You can take it off of your fingers. Now you can tie it there. So, if you do not know how to tie it, ask a grown-up to. But if you have a hard time because it's curly, Still, ask a grown-up too. You may want to straighten it out before you do it. Just try and like get that bottom piece.
There you go, then you have rainbow and rings. So, if you want to tie this so it makes a beautiful bow, you can. But mine just came undone. I like it without the button, so I'm just going to take the button off of mine. If you like making rainbow and rings, I know you like my videos then, probably. I have tons of other kind of crafty videos. I have one on how to make an Olympic ring bracelet, a single with no loom, and a diamond bracelet. I hope you live in an awesome craft like me. Thanks for watching. Bye.